So today we are going to test out the new product that I have discovered through my workmate. So this is the new ones by Salma Hayek. So if you want to know more about this product, please keep on watching. It's actually a, it's not a new line, but it's not that um, very popular. So, so since I will be just getting ready with you because I'm about to go to work, but at the same time, I want to test out these products and how they will be performing throughout the day. So as you know, Sama Hayek is a Latina American actress and I'm just shocked that she actually has her own makeup line. So, um... First, I have three products here with me that I have bought from my office mate. We have the New Ones by Sama Hayek Flawless Finish Velvety Smooth Press Powder with Argan Oil. So this one. So this one retails for $11.99 in their official website and this can also be bought in CVS. But unfortunately, this product line is not available here in the Philippines. Although, I was able to buy this from my office mate who has a friend who sends product, products to him from the US. So you know the drill. He sells beauty products in my office. <laughs> and so we also have the flawless finish naturally even Concealer with Tapas Kuhuwe. I'm not really sure how to read this one, but I will just be I will just be writing the correct um, pronunciation in the blog itself. So this is the concealer. And lastly, we have the new ones by Sam Hayek. Um, this True Color on Moisture Rich Lipstick in the shade Baby Sweet. So first, since this is also a good ready with new video, so I will be donning on the usual products that I use on my face and then I will be using the products as well. And let's see how it performs with other products and how it performs with its same product line. So I have seen the new closer so that you will see how the product actually looks up close and personal. First on eye cream, so I'm using the eye cream with LNGC and I have some niacin with So I am using the eye white facial to whiten and whiten. So now that I have prepped my face, I will for my base I will be using the Misha Perfect Rubber BB Cream in the shade number 21. So I'll be just using the BB Cream because I only wanted to use a light. Spread this out using a flat flat foundation brush. So now that I have applied my BB cream, next we'll be putting in the concealer. So for the concealer, I'll be using the new ones by Salma Hayek Pose Finish Naturally Luminous Concealer with the best combo weight. So I'm not really sure how that's pronounced, but again, I will just be placing the pronunciation in the blog version of this video. So opening it, this is what you get. This is like a stick like um stick like packaging, and it has a pump in it, so meaning the the product is dispensed through pumping from this small button right here. 
Okay. So, upon opening, as you can see, it has a sponge tip applicator. And so, I have tried pressing this um, while I, when I bought this, but I never used this one. But yeah, that's, as you can see, that is its applicator. It's a sponge tip applicator. So, let's test out this one. By the way, um, this concealer is in the shade in the shade 420 light. So upon application, this has actually um, a very lightweight formula, unlike most concealers, where it's known to be um, it's known to be very thick. This one has a lightweight formula. You do have to press on more though to dispense more product out from the literature. because um, I, I did not use it right away so I had to really shake the product off from its container but anyways so after that I will then use the velvety smooth crust powder with argan oil to seal everything that's what we get up and opening so one thing that I have noticed is that it has no it has no sponge applicator, it's just this powder. And you have to consider that at least it has to have an applicator since in the website it's sold for $11.99. So that's like around $500, uh, 500 pesos plus if it's sold, if that's a couple so that's a bit pricey and to know that this has no applicator is a bit disappointing but anyway it's all fine with me since most of the time I use a brush a powder brush in applying powders but for those people who are used to using 
a sponge applicator in applying their powders to this my And also it has a mirror in it as well. So, like this. so this is what we get. So this is in the shade light 5.5 and this product uh, this this contains 9 grams of no mirror, no sponge applicator. So you have to have your own mirror and your own able to use a product. So I'll be using a small powder brush because I don't have a big one. I don't know where it is. So I'll be using this to apply this to my face. how this goes throughout the day, throughout the night because I work on day worship. But we'll see. throughout the day as to how the product um, held on to the face. I didn't use any primer just to check if this product really stick on and hold on to the face for an entire 8 hour duration. So again, that was the concealer, the compact press powder, and the lipstick. So as you can see right now, I am actually wearing a different shade of lipstick. It's because the lipstick itself doesn't last really long. So you have to reapply, especially after you have you have eaten, which is what happened to me. But it was very moisturizing. So here are my thoughts on the product. So I actually have. So first, let's start with the concealer. So the concealer itself has a light medium consistency which is 
really good for daily use because unlike most of the usual concealers we're in, um, most of it are from medium to um, thick consistency for the purpose of really concealing in um, dark circles and other imperfections. The formulation of the new ones by Sama Hayek is actually really good. So, although it has a light to medium consistency, it has a medium coverage. So, um, it is able to cover um, certain spots, dark spots in the face. Although, if you have a, if you are someone who has a, um, a severe dark circles, I guess the concealer won't work well for you. Also, one problem that I encountered with the concealer itself is with when it comes to the packaging. So I had a hard time dispensing the product. It's because um, I have to shape it thoroughly before um, and I have to do a few pumps before the product actually comes out. And so um, I really thought that the product was broken when actually it was not broken. And also the concealer um, doesn't last really long in your face. So for me, um, Creasing appeared three after three to five hours from the application of the concealer. So, uh, as you can see in my face right now, let me zoom in a bit. Well, as you can see in my face right now, I haven't reapplied anything. So, um, the concealer itself is I think not non non-existent in my eyes anymore. Um, although a while ago, because there were there was creasing that was happening in my under eye area and on my lids, I had to block it off with um, tissue paper. And now let's just put the face powder. So I don't have any problem at all with the face powder. So um, although it was not able to to be consistent with its claim to have a matte finish. So my face is a combination, combination skin type. After a few hours, I tend to have a, a slightly shiny T-zone but still dry cheeks, dry sides and dry cheeks. So with the powder, after 3 to 5 hours also, after, um, from the time of application, I experience slight slight of uh, sebum production on my T-zone area, specifically on my nose. It was not really a very serious case of being not able to consistently with matte effect, but I have tried other brands that can really stick to its claims of being a matte finish or throughout the day. So I think that's one of the um, cons of the, of the powder. Also, um, the packaging itself. So the packaging uh, lacks a mirror and an applicator. So the packaging is not a problem for me because most of the time I apply face powder using a face brush. However, for those who would, really, who would rather prefer to have a mirror and an applicator in one compact powder, it will be disadvantages or less than and lastly, we have the Bansama Hayek Moisturizing Lipstick. So the lipstick itself is well packaged and then there's an indicator in the bottom of the lipstick for you to know what is the color. However, when I swatched it on my hands, um, it swatched a baby pink color but when I applied, applied it on my lips, it was way lighter than the color that was swatched on my hands. So um, I think the color it doesn't fit me really well because I'm really not into white pink colors. I'm more into um, a darker tone of pinks and into the reds and the same tones. One good thing about the lipstick is um, it really moisturizes your lips. And if you have dry chapped lips, it softens dry dead skin of your lips and just like a lip balm, it, it can eventually pull off the the chap, chap skin of your lips without hurting your lips. So it's like a lip balm slash moisturizing lipstick which is really good. However, uh, my problem was with the shade itself. So um, if only I can have the chance to try the other shades, then that would be really good. But I'm not sure if I can be able to, to purchase this product again because again, uh, the, the, new, the, the brand 
is not available in the Philippines. Uh, it's only available through the website. Uh, I just read that even CBS, one of the top stores in USA, have pulled out the product from the counters. So you can purchase it solely from their official website. So that was it, guys. That was my review and try on for the new ones by Salma Hayek. It's a new brand that I discovered through my office mate, and I really enjoyed swatching and trying it on for a full full day so that was like 13 hours if you want a more precise and descriptive version on oh no, a written version of this review i will be posting it in my blog as well so i will be link, putting the link of my blog in the description box below and i do hope that you also visit it and you can see there also the video as well as some of the pictures and the swatches of my of my wear test so that was it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like my review of the new brand, New Ones by Sama Hayek. And if you want to comment or suggest new products for review, I will try to do one for you. And if you have any comments regarding the review or if you have tried the product themselves, you can just comment down below. Please do like also this video and if you want to know more and to see more products that I can I will be doing in the future soon you can also click subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and have a very nice day.